I was just thinking, Vinny, I'd love to do like an extra kind of special like real estate talk, but I haven't figured out where I'm going to put it. Okay. I'll make sure it's a day that you're going to be at the summit with us because oh. I'd like to have maybe a panel with you where we just go deeper into. I would love that. Love that. In the morning when I do my keynote, then maybe later on that afternoon, another dose can come like in. It. That'd like, be amazing. Gonna, I'll let you know what the schedule is, but that is, sure. as we're getting yeah. the, the summit really getting closer, I'm polling the community and all the local yeah. events. I was in St. Pete last night and I'll be in Tampa mm -hmm. again. I'm polling the attendees and just saying, hey, by the way, what do you want? And mostly what they want, Vinny, is to generate income. They're looking for cash flow. They're looking for capital. What is one of the habits? Because how you do anything is how you do everything. What is one of the habits of great salespeople? And I see you doing it right now, actually. You, you wake up early, you do your miracle morning. What habit do you think makes you such a great salesperson when you're talking to investors? The biggest thing is expect to be rejected. A lot of times people just give up and they just say, rationalize, that person is going to say no and they don't even pick up the phone then. Guess what? More negative you think, like in my book, Positivity Brings Profitability, more of the same thing is going to come in our life. That's law of attraction. Law of manifestation. So we believe or not, we got to get psyched up that, hey, no matter whether I get a yes or a no, it's going to be okay. You got to make that phone call and meet with the person at their convenient time. And then you go over a very organized presentation. The worst thing is when people call on the phone and, they, and everything and they're not confident. But the best is to have a PowerPoint presentation and record so that you could give it to them at the end of presentation. In investors' case, in my case, that's what I do. And then they show it to their spouse or their, you know, a deacon at the church or pastor or their brother, sister, like that. This way, you are able to multiply your presentations by giving videos to these people and they can ask more questions then. Vinny, but you just... if you, it's okay, it is not the right time for them. It's not a rejection, which is personal. It's just a business decision they're making. And maybe they need to be taught a little bit more and educated and all that. Yeah. You just gave me, I think, one of the most valuable sales tips that I have never heard of ever. Although I've heard you say you give investors the recording of the webinar. I've heard you say that before. But it just crossed my mind because I, I have a salesperson who's just absolutely amazing in his strategy sessions. And then he sells the mastermind for us. And mm -hmm. like he occasionally ends up with the objection that, oh, my wife, I have to talk to my wife. And it's, man, like if he was just passing this video to the person and saying, yeah, cool, send her this video, have her watch this. Yeah. Like that yeah. would save an entire extra call because it's like, hey, by the way, I talked about all the stuff. And here's your husband's opinion of everything I'm asking. Here's his concerns that you guys may not have even talked about. <laughs> I agree, brother. Like, I wow. Agree. It's That's amazing. so deep. That's so good. <laughs> and I really believe why did I think about it was in the early on in my life, I was putting myself in the shoes of investors. Yes. yes. If they have to give me 50, I never take 50, 100,000 minimum. 100, 200, 500, 1 million. You got to give them a great presentation, everything which they would like to ask and record it and give it just to them. 